Hi-Rez is shutting down multiple servers. Ahoy, my name is Dick Sloth and today we're talking an announcement that hi made regarding the shutdown of both the Latam North as well as the Southeast Asian servers. I'm going to go through the post and then I'll add my opinion in a few places. Divine Deities Over the past year we have hit huge milestones for our community. From our highest CCU day ever on Steam this past February to our strongest month overall in the history of Smite this past March. Just last month, we opened a new server, North America West, which has provided increased server stability throughout that side of the world. By the way, if you want to see that stuff and the performance of Smite in more detail, I made a video called It's Smite Dying, which is basically a series at this point where I discussed the stats that Smite currently has in greater detail. As we continue to work to improve the overall experience for our players, we want to share some of our plans moving forward regarding our Latin America North and Southeast Asia servers in particular. We have been investigating reports of these regions players experiencing queue time rollovers and difficulty finding balanced matches due to these servers having lower populations. During our investigations, we found that these servers did often have surprisingly low CCUs which resulted from players opting to select different servers than the ones associated with the region in order to experience better matchmaking. As more players choose to play on servers other than the one associated with the region, the rest of that community's experience will continue to worsen. So this is something that is very prominent uh, with the Latam servers and all that, that a lot of Latam players choose to play on NA East primarily instead because you just have the competitive scene there and everything so if you really want to get recognition if you want to get uh, the highest level of gameplay experience then you basically have to queue there and the ping difference for the most part seems to be acceptable so there's less of an incentive to queue in light time especially if there are less players there and queues are longer and then the matchmaking is worse for Southeast Asia or SEA, I know that the community here is a little bit more split. Some people tend to queue on EU servers, some people actually tend to queue on Oceanic servers, and I think some people even queue NNA just for the sake of it. But there has been a long-standing issue, especially in SEA, with certain modes not getting any queue pops at all, and uh, even some players abusing this in order to boost their stats by just queuing into the only other people playing that were their friends, so they could just farm free wins. For these reasons, we have decided to disable the Southeast Asian and Latin American North servers. We know that these players' best experience is dependent on playing games on more populated servers, which leads to more balanced matches. So we'll be pushing these players to a new region when this change goes live on Tuesday with the 8.4 update. Players who are currently on the Southeast Asian server will automatically be redirected to Japan, while Latin America North players will be moved to North America East. Note that depending on what part of Southeast Asia or Latin America you live in, the Australian or North America West servers may provide a better experience. You can change the server by clicking play and then clicking the region button in the bottom right corner or on Y or triangle for console. So on one hand this obviously makes sense. They have a too low population to really get consistent good gameplay experience on those servers and if they play in a more populated region, then obviously they'll have better matchmaking. At the same time, they will also have worse ping. They will potentially, depending on who they were playing with, uh, have more communication issues as well. If you're going from SEA to Oceania and you don't speak English, then that's probably not the best server for you to play on or not the most fun server for you to play on. So I think this is a little bit difficult, uh, even though the change in itself is understandable. While they don't mention this here, this is obviously also a financial decision for Hyrus. By shutting down these servers, they simply have to have less servers up and running, though I'm not quite sure how the system in those regions works. Maybe the servers are only there when there's demand for them anyway, so they might not actually be paying that much when there are no queues popping in the first place. I don't know how the system works, but I would assume they will end up saving some money. Though at the same time, we have to give them credit here, they also just made the NA West servers, so it's not like they just want to save everywhere, they just want to distribute the servers more according to where Smite players actually are. But that obviously doesn't take away the frustration that comes with this four players that are in these regions that will now have to play on higher ping. 
And I asked around a little bit and the experience really, really seems to differ from player to player. I got answers for some people having as low as 70 to 90 ping when playing on an A uh, from Latin America. Uh, then I had people saying 90 to 100 ping and then in, on NA West they got 110 to 135. Then someone who queues from SEA are getting 110 ping on SEA, which I thought was very interesting because sometimes even when you're in that region you can get higher ping. And yeah, it, it shifted around a lot, but usually it seemed that the ping for most people would be somewhere around 100 on at least one of the servers. So for some people this would be NA West and for others this would be uh, NA East, but usually it seemed that most people had an option for lower ping. That is not for everyone because it depends not only on where you live, but also on your internet connection and various other factors that you can't necessarily influence. So this is something where I'd say your personal mileage may vary, but it does seem like it's not going to be completely horrible for people to play on these servers for the most part. I think that 100 ping is something that is still within bearable realms. I think around 150 to 200 ping is when you really start feeling a very significant difference. Obviously you still feel a difference between someone on 30 ping and 100 ping for sure, but I feel like that gap gets a little bit worse uh, if you're going into the higher numbers and obviously it also depends on your personal perception, but I think Smite isn't necessarily a game where you have to have the super lowest ping compared to, for example, shooters. We had some very high level competitive players that were playing on 150 plus ping for a long time and were still able to compete on the highest level of Smite ranked at least. So I think there's something to be said for that, where ping does still obviously matter a lot, but it doesn't matter quite as much as in some other games. The more unfortunate use with this is that there's a certain tendency in smaller regions to only queue specific modes. For example, in Southeast Asia, people were primarily playing Arena. In Oceania, in Australia on the other hand, uh, most people are still queuing mostly Conquest and Joust. And obviously I'm a little bit scared of those servers eventually be shut down as well if there are not enough players here anymore. What that means is, especially with the time zone differences that you may have as well, you might end up queuing in a different region from what you're used to, hoping to queue the mode you normally played, and actually not finding matches in that mode, not knowing that that region simply tends to play other modes. Only in the biggest regions will you reliably be able to play all modes. This change, on the other hand, may be beneficial for NA West, which is currently a little bit underpopulated, I think, so the matchmaking there is a little bit weird. I kind of wish they would have pushed uh, some more of the players, depending on where they are, towards NA West so that server gets more population immediately, but I guess they thought that NA East was the safer way, or that's where most people from LATAM were primarily queuing. Last but not least, Hyra states, we hope that these efforts allow our players to get into more games that are more evenly matched. We will continue to monitor these changes. We'll also monitor ping for affected players. We'll see you on the battleground. I think the ping part is interesting. I don't know what they want to do based on that monitoring, but I do think that at times it would be better for them to maybe find a centered location. I think especially when it comes to the Asian area as a whole, the choice to either go with SEA or Japan is not necessarily ideal if you want to cover the entire region as a whole. Apparently, according to a post I read, the SAA servers were actually located in three different places, Hong Kong, Singapore and somewhere in China. I don't know if this is true, but if that's true, that obviously makes it a lot weirder for ping as well, because you can't choose which specific area you get. But if they were to consolidate the Japan, Australia and SEA region into one and then just put the server somewhere uh, around Singapore probably, because that's where you'd have most uh, server structures, uh, most developed uh, infrastructure that would be able to reach the whole region, then you might end up having a better experience for everyone overall on the cost of most of them having slightly higher ping. But obviously that wouldn't work if the servers bounce around because then you would not know if your ping was going to be good or not. So it's going to be interesting to see what approach Hyris takes in the long run, but unfortunately this is not the first hit for international regions. Just recently Hyris announced that the gem prices in various foreign regions, not NA regions, were increased. And this is not necessarily something that was against these regions, but rather the problem was that because of the different currency values and everything, it led to websites buying gems for cheaper from there and then selling them at their own price. So if you're buying gems through a third party website, just know that that actually affects those regions and is direct 
influence on their gem prices, which can be really, really bad for them because some of them have very high taxes on them. And because of these taxes, the prices were significantly lower. And that's now just leading to insane gem prices. So overall, the non-NAEU experience in Smite is looking rough as usual, I would say. I am, however, hopeful that this server consolidation might actually lead to some positive changes in the long run if Hyrus figures out where to place the servers best and how to make them work best for everyone while giving them a healthy population. So we'll see if that works out. Fingers crossed. Click like and subscribe or I will go to my garage 